Happy to see you here, bud. But yeah, I don't know if anybody else has watched Squid Game, but I keep seeing like theory videos and stuff from MatPat uh, on my list of videos that I'm way behind on. And uh, it makes me want to watch Squid Game real bad. We need to watch that soon, Mr. Noodle. Ah, getting some dashing in. Good for you, man. Make that bread. <laughs> All right. I was saying be, uh, right before we got into the game here, I'm not oh, feeling the greatest you. today, sadly. So I may end up uh, having to, to, to quit a little bit earlier than, than I prefer tonight. But we'll see. I'm hoping to make it at least an hour and a half. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, right. You want to watch I Have Not Yet? Yeah, man. I keep hearing such good things about it, and the theory videos make me want to watch it, and I just... But I haven't had the chance to, you know? Soon. Soon, hopefully. I don't I don't know what the Doritos about, Mr. Noodle, but... Some Doritos and salsa sound really good. I know it would just tear my stomach up more, though, so... <laughs> oh, and uh, real quick, Mr. Noodle. If you, uh... If you end up, or before you end up getting in the bath or whatever, if you wouldn't mind getting me a quick refill on my drink, I would appreciate you tons. It's not empty yet, but it probably will be in about 10 minutes. <laughs> Alright, so tonight we're playing a little bit of Freaky Flyers. We got some dude announcer talking to us at the moment, but... He's not saying anything important. Just saying that there's some event going on and we're a part of it, basically. But yeah, I've had this one sitting around for a little while, and it looks kind of interesting. But I've never been a huge fan of, like, dogfighting games, and I think that's a pretty large part of what this game is. So I don't really know if it's going to end up being a game for me. But I figured I'd try it out anyways, and, uh... Tonight seemed like a, a decent enough night to do it with it being a <clears throat> possibly a shorter stream. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> but at, at least it still looks fun, right? I, I did consider just grabbing a sports game or something like that. But <clears throat> this one here looked more fun than playing like a just a normal NBA or NFL game or something like that. So <laughs> I figured, screw it, I'd, I'd try out this one instead. Speaking of salsa, your coworker told you she heard of people making chili with salsa, beans, the chili mix of meat. I mean, that's basically what I do with that one stew that I make, right? I don't put um, chili mix in it, but salsa, beans, and meat are three of the main ingredients. So, ginger ale one? Nah, I wouldn't mind trying one of the, uh, either the lemonade or one of the other ones, I think. But, alright, so we got a few different game modes here. First, let's hop into the options and see, do they have a... Turn down the music a little bit, which I am a fan of. Actually, I'd like to turn that down a little bit, the sound effects down a little bit, and then leave the movies and narrator turned up all the way. <clears throat> and then I was hoping for a freaking subtitles, but a, a lot of old games don't have subtitles. So we got a movie viewer, that's cool. Mini games? What kind of mini games do we got? Oh, okay, so we can just go ahead and select our character. We'll just do random. Why not? Script. <clears throat> Instead of diced tomatoes, they use salsa. I mean, I'll try it. It sounds good, but I whatever. <laughs> like I, I never thought of doing that before, but I'm sure it would be good. Because I mean, salsa is just vinegar, tomatoes, peppers, onions, seasoning. Like that's about it. All of that stuff goes good with chili. That uh, is a lot of ingredients in chili. So <laughs> that's discrimination. How rude. You mean the the missing subtitles? Yeah, a lot of old games didn't have subtitles, sadly. Reading the Tokyo Avengers manga now. I don't know anything about that. What the hell is Tokyo Revengers, Nate? Do tell. Protect the fort from rampaging dynamite throwing banditos. We'll try it. Uh, controls. Okay, reverse pitch. Can we... Let's turn that on, because I'm definitely going to need that. And sure, start. We'll try out one of the mini games, and then we'll go into one of the other game modes there. You feel excluded, Mr. Noodle? I'm sorry, love. <laughs> I would love to put subtitles on for you. I always try to, but, you know. I prefer subtitles, too. I'm not even deaf or anything. I just I prefer... I, I feel like I have a better understanding of what's going on whenever I can read it instead of just hearing it. <laughs> so... <laughs> 
Although you're risking your own sadly, it's not an option in every case. I feel confident that knowing you're helping others is enough reward. Oh, how I envy you. Rich with the satisfaction that can only come through charity. While I am hey, Mr. Noodle, thank you for the five bit cheer. Meaningless cash. Oh, another thing about being the bit boss, Mr. Noodle, that I forgot to tell you. Every time you donate bits or anything like that, you heal your health a little bit. So you can stay the bit boss a little bit longer by donating bits and things. Which is uh, another neat little thing that they got. Nate, so it has time travel. It's similar to Erase It Away. Oh, very cool. I had to look into it sometime. Hey, what's up, Rue? Nice to see you, man. Uh, tonight, we're just playing a little bit of Freaky Flyers. It's a... I think mainly dogfighting, but it says stuff about like adventure modes, and right now we're trying out a mini game. I'm actually a little sick right now, so I wanted to play something that I didn't think I would get too, too into, in case I have to cut the stream a little bit short, but we'll see how that goes. Guy dies, goes back to childhood, and is trying to fix things. Very cool, man. Yeah, I'll definitely have to check it out sometime. So, Your fort is my fort is damaged. Yeah, well, no shit. Are we like overheating or something okay so we can look behind us circle does things okay triangle makes us do a freaking flip uh our one's like a boost and i could have swore we reversed our pitch i i'm wondering if maybe the pitch was already reversed yeah i've never really been into like flying games so i don't expect this game to really be my uh <laughs> to be my jam to be honest with you Oh, Rue, you'll be happy to hear. I, I haven't ordered it yet, but I've looked into uh, copies of Odin Sphere, seeing if there were any available at a reasonable price. And thankfully, there are. Both uh, new and used copies are fairly easy to come by, it seems. So I will probably be picking that up real soon. And then we'll be trying it out on the channel shortly thereafter. Well, we lost. That was quick. <laughs> Sounds kind of funny, and hey, that's okay, let's check it out. Yeah, so, like, the whole thing with it, it's like a cartoony, um, somewhat suggestive game. Like, just going off of what I've seen on the character, or on the character, on the, the cover of the box. It's like, there you go, you can kind of see it there, right? It's like heavily cartoony, but also edgy. <laughs> like, so, yeah. Let me stream that game you're not allowed to play and, until I join the stream. <laughs> you got it, Rue. No problem. I do always put VODs of all of my stuff up on YouTube as well. So anytime I play something that maybe you would want to see, it's not as fun as being there in person, in my opinion. But I do always put VODs up on YouTube. So they're there. I, I don't really expect many people to watch, you know, two hour, one out, one to four hour live streams on YouTube. But eh, just in case, I always do put them up. He can travel 12 years back from whatever the current date, and he is trying to stop the gang from becoming evil and prevent the death of the only girlfriend he ever had. That does sound pretty cool, man. I'm not going to lie. I'll have to uh, I'll have to give it a, a look at sometime. What would you say it's called again? Tokyo Revengers? Yeah, I have to try to remember that. All right, let's just get into the normal adventure mode, because I, I imagine this is... Yeah, learn the story and unlock tracks and hidden characters. Yeah, we'll do that. Mode. The squirrel game on N64? Uh... Crap, I, the, I know exact Conquer. Conquer's bad for a day. <laughs> I, uh, I was gonna say, like, I knew what it was. I had one of the Conquer games on Game Boy. I, I can't remember the name of it. It was, it was a little more tame than bad for a day, if I remember correctly. But, yeah. <laughs> You've been mean to catch up on some of the other streams? Yeah, I mean, they're all there if you ever want to. Like I said, it's, uh, it's not as fun in my opinion not being able to interact with everybody else and whatnot, but they're there in case there's a game anybody's interested in or whatever. That specific YouTube channel, I've put zero work into <laughs> outside of uploading VODs. Um, like, I haven't even put a, a any sort of profile picture or anything on it. It's just, uh, I used to upload everything to one channel, and then at one point I decided I was going to try to do more engaging content on the main channel, but around that same time, on the main channel, I mean. And then around that same time, though, I, I kind of ran out of time to do anything. So uh, that turned into that channel just being dead and then the VOD channel just getting VODs. So <laughs> I don't know if it was necessarily the best move, but yeah, whatever. So we got Tracy Torpedoes, Mick Bungadoo. Okay. Holly Achi. I feel like 
that's probably some sort of uh thing that i don't understand uh -huh. johnny turbine he looks cool and myrna bookbottom okay what who do we think we should go for myrna book bookbottom johnny turbine polyachi tracy torpedoes mick bungadoo and tracy oh wait no no we we said her twice you watch it on hbo max wait is it a a, a show or a movie nate tokyo revengers like has it been adapted from the manga I agree with that. It's way more fun when you get to talk to you guys. Also, what's this time travel thing? It sounds interesting. That's what I'm, I'm trying to get more details out of him. <laughs> he's also working at the moment, though. He's door dashing, so he's, uh, he's a little busy. I, I understand him not being able to type out too much at one time, but book bottom. She was my personal favorite, too, but, you know. <laughs> Are you ready? Uh, give me, give me, like, another five minutes, Mr. Noodle, if you don't mind. I've been talking, not finishing my, my lozenge <laughs> yeah let's go for book bottom i like book bottom bigfoot mountain fly scenic canada avoid killer attacks attack geese killer attack geese holy crap okay and dangerous icicle laden caves we can do that we got this oh i asked her if she would get me a drink that's all <laughs> nothing big i just uh i came upstairs with only a tiny bit left to drink so cat lady Extremely polite. Hello. I am very pleased to meet you, Governor. Now, what is a nice young woman like you doing in this race, Myrna? Well, you see, I have always wanted a life of adventure. But I work in the local library, and things just never seem to happen there. Until Margaret Basher came along. Margaret Basher? She is my alter ego. When I get angry, I turn into Margaret. And... Bad things happen. But you seem so sweet and helpless. And boring. Boringly helpless. Oh my god. You can't judge a book bottom by its cover. This is not what I expected at all. Godspeed, Myrna Bookbottom. Okay. And so, <laughs> can we transform between the two different versions of her or something? That's neat. And I have never once said that. She just likes to lie. <laughs> she's got some serious problems making stuff up. One of these days, she's going to believe herself, and then we're just going to have to have her admit it or something. <laughs> yeah, I hope so, too. That would be neat if we can switch between the two different versions of her. I guess we'll find out soon. We're now entering Canadian airspace. <laughs> it's quite a country. The kind uh. of place where a virtual nobody with an airplane could reunite a lost Bigfoot with his family, destroy a log jam, and shoot down half-eaten trees all in the same day. How am I being mean? I said we're going to get you help if it gets shopping. too bad. That's all I said. That's not being mean. That's being pragmatic. <laughs> now that's so is this like... It's like almost like if uh, you took Mario Kart with all of its, you know, fun wackiness and then mixed it with dog fighting. <laughs> is that is that what we're doing here? I don't. I mean, I think Mario Kart's gonna end up being better than this, but uh, we'll see, I guess. What's with all the nuts? Are those like the coins that you would get? And then I'm guessing you get bonus points for shooting all of the targets that are going about. I know you don't need help right now, but if you keep telling all these lies, you might. <laughs> Must place third or better to qualify. Hint, shoot the ceiling in the ice case for a nice surprise. Let's do it. Airboat racing game you had on the PS2? Planes instead and the humans. Oh, uh, I don't know what our, our go button is. All I know is that we were really slow. Is there like a turbo button? Okay. Gotta figure out the controls. So it seems like R1's the go button. L1's break. I imagine we can probably shoot these guys for, for, to like, take them out. Kind of like that one racing game we were just playing not too long ago. I'm pretty sure shooting is allowed in this race. It feels really touchy. How do we use these power-ups or whatever we got? We got like the FF, whatever the heck that is. Square, triangle. Oh, nope. Triangle does that. Circle. Okay, circle uses power-ups. And that's like a shield. Very cool. This is why I've never been huge into dogfighting games. I have, <laughs> I hate when you're you're in a racing game 
or any sort of like car combat game and you can only shoot straight ahead of you like the the direction that you're moving i'm just i'm just bad at it <laughs> that's why <laughs> this is why they have tutorials yeah but i mean it's no fun if we do the tutorials we'll just figure it out as we go it's fine <laughs> I, I, <clears throat> excuse me. I like all the interactions with the environment that we can do, though. That's pretty neat. Like being able to, uh, being able to to knock down trees and 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 icicles and things like that. Also, it seems like there's no downside to to riding along on the ground. Really, I imagine we could potentially get hit by or like hit something and get completely stopped, but. For the most part, it, it seems like it's it's fine. Just keep uh keep the shields up because whatever. I think there's somebody haunting on our tail, but it's kind of hard to tell to be honest. Honestly, graphics wise, this game looks pretty good for a PS2 Eric. You're not wrong, and I think it has a lot to. I've mentioned it in other videos before. I think it has a lot to do with the style that they're going for, right? Because games that do a realistic art style or, or try to look realistic tend to age very poorly. Just in general, and that's for, for any console in my opinion. It may be less of an issue with like the PS4 and PS5 because they pulled off realism pretty well. But of course, once upon a time, we all thought that, you know, the PS2 pulled off realism pretty well. And here we are now. So, <laughs> but uh... But yeah, so since they went with like a more cartoony sort of style, I feel like they'll probably have less of an issue with this game aging poorly. It'll probably look good for a long time, in my opinion. And uh, I think that's a, a large reason why I generally prefer games that do a more unique art style instead of just going for, for hyper-realism. I mean, you look at, like, the, the Mario games, for instance, right? The Mario games, they still look amazing to this day, in my opinion. Like, because, I mean, they just... The art style that they went for, especially Mario 3 and onwards, but even Mario 1 and 2, the art style they went for is just timeless. So, like, it'll always look good. Now, playing it on the original, con on the original console or whatever may cause some problems with modern TVs not properly displaying them or, or blurring them together or being really fuzzy or whatever. But, like, play it through a, a uh, emulator or, or something that can show a nice clean image out of it and, like, it's gonna look good. So it is a show. It has 24 episodes. Okay, very cool. And it's on HBO Max. That's too bad. I don't have HBO Max, but... I, uh, maybe I'll check out the manga, and then if I like it, I'll just buy the DVD or Blu-ray or something. I prefer owning physical media anyways most of the time. Upon my return to England, I'm going to report Andrew Latoilette to the Humane Society. It is dreadful how he's been treating this poor little ape man. Put on my property immediately, femme d'Angleterre. Well, if you ask politely, perhaps I shall. Swear, sucking tree hugger. Just try and stop me. Oh, we do need to watch Dexter. That's right. I don't know if I want to watch Euphoria or not, but yeah, I mean, we can always get it for like a month or two and watch the shows we want to watch and then just get rid of it after that. <laughs> Madam Bookbottom. Yes, who is that? It is I, Andre Latoilette. Oi, it's a swear, sucking tree hugger. I wanted to apologize for yelling at you earlier. I get sensitive with matters concerning my big food. Oh, that's quite sweet of you, love. Yeah, real sweet. Now, bugger off! Excusez-moi? Call me! Just on second thought, don't you toss her! Ah, English women. They are so complicated. I did that already, Nate. Yeah, it's it's amazing at the speed that she switches between the two personalities. Yeah, we did the free month trial. That's why we can't do it now. Um, it she reminds me of the uh, 
of launch from Dragon Ball, not Dragon Ball Z, but like actual Dragon Ball. Uh, that's what she reminds me of, like just this real sweet, nice lady. And then for launch, every time she sneezes, she just turns into this total badass that just, you know, <laughs> can destroy anybody. Made dangerous by man. Inside these canyon walls, you'll be called upon to save a damsel in distress, take on gunfighters in a shootout, and stampede cows into an Indian reservation. Sure, these all might be things you could have done from the comfort of your own home with a few well-placed phone calls, but you're here now, so get to it! Save the cowardice for guys like me. Stream has a horrible memory, you might have to DM him the name. Yeah, <laughs> you probably will have to. <laughs> I mean, I can always look back at the footage and get it that way. Um, that is, if I remember to do that. I like the variety in the levels. Like, it looks... They look nice, right? The 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 first course compared to this course are just two completely different things. And that's one of the telltale problems from small budget, you know, kind of crappy racing games or whatever, is whenever a bunch of the courses are just essentially the same thing. Uh, at least here, they all seem unique, which is nice. Rue, you have Hulu through Spotify, so you don't think you can get it, but thanks for telling you. I mean, it's still worth taking a look at, right? I, I forget exactly how I did it. It's, there's somewhere in Hulu where you can, like, look at your subscriptions and things, and then I, I just kind of went there and I was able to get a, a free month of it, but... I've never had Hulu through Spotify, though, so I don't know how that makes it different. Alright, uh... Must place third or better to qualify. No surprise there. Hint, find the hidden health stations to the left of the train tracks. Okay. Everybody else seems to have a huge speed boost right at the beginning. I, it makes me wonder if it's kind of like uh, Mario Kart, where if you do the launch at the right time, you get a speed boost. Right? Because, like, in Mario Kart, whenever they're doing the countdown, if you hit the accelerator at the right time, then you just kind of uh, you get a turbo or whatever. I wonder if it's that same sort of thing. I have no idea, though. Nice take that guy out to get get fourth place so far we got this i'm actually kind of surprised i won the first race to be honest with you because like i said i'm not very good at dog fighting style of games it's just not it's not my jam they never have been <laughs> nothing not that there's technically anything wrong with them or anything it's just i've never been very good at them nothing i uh ever really spent time getting good at either I really like all the interactions with the world that you can do. Like, shooting down that rock there, that's awesome. They need to have that sort of stuff in more games. Could you imagine, like, in Mario Kart, if you could shoot a, uh... If you could knock down pieces of the castle or something? Like... Also, we are in sixth place, so that first one may have just been beginner's, uh, beginner's luck there. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to shoot you, bro. Yeah, in my way. Alright, so health packs to the left of the train tracks, you say, huh? I don't know what a health pack looks like. I almost feel like... I feel like it's probably just a, a trick of the mind because the world is moving around quicker. But I feel almost like you move quicker when you're on the ground instead of in the air. Okay, I feel like that's probably just a perspective thing, though. It looked like there was a, uh, a secret there that we could have gone through, because there was, like, a wooden wall. There's a bunch of banditos or, or whatever just lying all about trying to kill us. Maybe that's why we took so much more damage this time. <laughs> Holy crap, yeah. <laughs> Going down there seems a little dangerous. I don't know if that's worth that. We are clear in seventh place, too, so that, <laughs> I think that may have been a bit slow. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have done that. We might end up having to redo this race. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> what is... So, every level has a different collectible? That's kind of nice. Keeps things a little bit different, you know? Again, it's nice to not have things get too samey. Of course, if we had stopped running into all the geometry of the level, we would probably be doing a fair bit better. Mm. 
I want to try to go through this. I don't know if we need missiles, though, if we can just shoot through it. Yeah, there we go. Is this a shortcut? Eh, it doesn't really seem like it. Although there was something there that it looks like we could have we could have uh, shot down. Another, like, rock thing. There we go. If we keep shooting everybody down, maybe, maybe we'll... Oh, no. No, it's, this, that's GG, isn't it? <laughs> All right, I guess we're doing that one again. That's okay. We'll try that race again. Oh, you've tried that since you're doing student premium. It won't let you change the subscription on Hulu at all. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can see. I can see what you're saying. That makes sense, actually. Cody Cannon hidden sub goals. Collect horseshoes for more than good luck. Try shooting the mailbags. Try shooting down your fellow flyers. Give the sheriff some backup. What would start a stampede? And a damsel needs a lift to town. What? <laughs> Are you sure you want to retry? Yeah. Let's do it. I done screwed up. I got fourth place. We got to retry. We don't really have much of an option. Coyote Canyon. Oh, Mr. Noodle, whenever you uh, get a moment, I'm ready for a drink. No rush or anything. Take your time, love. But I, I did finish it a few minutes ago, so. But if you're busy or whatever, don't worry about it. I'll, I'll live. You are now approaching Coyote Canyon. Made by nature, but made day- Alright, we don't need to watch the fly through again. We already watched that once. Coming, you decide not to get a bath? Okay. I mean that's fine. You don't you don't have to you don't have to get a bath. <laughs> you can be stinky if you want. <laughs> Just joking before you get all mad, Mr. Noodle. You know I don't think you're actually stinky. <laughs> Most of the time. Oh, what did that do? Are those, like, blades that are flying out behind us? What is that? I have no idea what that power-up does. It looks neat, though. You love the voice of the narrator? It fits the whole cartoony thing? It really does. You're not wrong. So I think they made a really good choice with this, going with the whole cartoony thing, you know? Oh, dude, here's a whole nother path. So we can just go above it. We don't have to go under that at all. Very cool. And can we knock this down now? Maybe if we weren't terrible. How did he shoot that backwards? Maybe when you're... Oh, yeah, okay. If you're looking behind you and shooting, you can shoot backwards. That makes sense. Okay, we almost got screwed up there. Now, you don't think I need a drink? That's rude. <laughs> Just gonna let me thirst to death? Wow. Can't believe you, Mr. Noodle. <laughs> I need another power up. Here we go. We we got this. We are totally gonna win this one. Okay, we got the we got the force field thing. I feel like we're slower in this one <laughs> than uh than in the last one. But I don't know, maybe it really was just beginner's luck. <laughs> Oh, no. Uh, shoot. Yes. Take him down. Second place. Oh, what? We got additional power-up slots? That's neat. Does that carry over from level to level, or is that just like a, a one-time thing? Like a well, one-level thing, I guess. More so than a, a one-time thing. I mean, you did call her stinky? Yeah, I was joking. She knows I was joking. <laughs> Don't you, Mr. Noodle. <laughs> Love you. It's, uh, right here. Ah, I'm dying now. Mr. Noodle's distracting me. <laughs> oh, no, we're gonna end up losing again. As neat as this level is, I hope we don't have to play it a third, uh, yeah, a third time. I can math, man. <laughs> I've spent basically the whole day sleeping because, you know, I haven't been feeling too well. And, uh, it has done nothing for me. Like, I'm <laughs> just exhausted. Ah, take him out. Seeking missiles. Perfect. Did it take him down? I don't think it did. Well, that's trash. It'd probably help if we hit that boost over there. That's, uh, that's something that we could do. That'd probably be smart. Oh, is this a boost? Let's go. Second place. Second place. We got it. <laughs> I mean, I would have preferred first, but you know, it's fine. We'll take second. A nice cool second. That's good enough to continue on. Get the next level. 
There's a bunch of characters and stuff to unlock, too. I'm curious what the other characters look like. And then, I'm assuming the story's basically the same. Oh no, I guess like it has a, a unique cutscene after pretty much every level, doesn't it? So... You just... Whenever you're playing through each of the individual characters, I guess you just find out more about that specific character. It's not so much like a story about the world, it's just stories about the people that you're playing. I'm thinking. That's what it's looking like. I was actually gonna play Crash Twin Sanity, was uh, my original plan for tonight. But I uh, I looked at the disc and I was worried that it, it was a little too scratched up. So I'm going to have to get that one buffed a little bit, cleaned a little bit up before I try that. And that's what led me to trying this one. You wonder what the cutscenes look like for the other characters? After we do one or two more races with her, I'm totally down to try one or two of the other ones. Because, yeah, I'm curious about that too, to be honest with you. I hope we get the chance to unlock another character. That'd be neat. But I don't know how far in the game you got to get to do that. It has been, though, a little over a half hour, so we are going to take just a really quick break while I stretch and uh, get my drink from Mr. Noodle. And then we'll be back for one or two more races before we try out another character. Oof, you hate that? What sucks is that you actually have a few discs yourself that are laser burn. Oh, man, yeah. I, I don't have any that are that bad, thankfully. But I do have a couple that, I, that were pretty scratched up. Because, I mean, I get a lot of my games from, like, eBay and whatnot secondhand, so... That is a very fluorescent green. What flavor is that? Green apple. Green apple? Skittle. Green apple Skittle. Okay. Alright. I guess we'll see what that's like. <laughs> but at least with the... Uh, at least with them just being scratched, like, I can get them buffed out or whatever. Um, for the most part. Like, you can only do so much buffing on a disc before it's no good anymore. But I don't think these ones are that bad off that, they are, that they're not fixable. You got them from your cousin the jerk? Wow. <laughs> I, I can't say too much. I was hard on my discs when I was a kid, you know. I'm uh, much better now than I was, but looking back, I do wish I would have been a little bit better with them. <laughs> but all right, I'm going to go ahead and do my quick stretching and try, I guess, green apple Skittle flavored water. And then we'll we'll be back in like a, a minute, minute and a half. What's happening? I don't understand what's going on. Where's You'll figure house? it all out. It's okay. Huh? Just take a breath, huh? Was that them? Is this a joke? A demon now? <laughs> I thought I'd smell something tasty. It's a human. Oh man, look at that. That blue ass demon. I think scary you? AF. Don't come near me. <laughs> you know, I'm joking, but like in real life, if you were to fall through a hole into a land you couldn't understand, and then all of a sudden this blue dude, hardly wearing a, a skirt, just started running up to you talking about eating you. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. You might be a little scared too. <laughs> It'd actually be pretty scary. Like jokes aside, man, be freaking out just a little bit, you know. <laughs> A dude painted from head to toe in blue, just, I'm gonna eat you. <laughs> uh, Damn. You're gonna get eaten in this place. Always like the half demon aspect since you were little, so you ended up watching Inuyasha every chance you got. Yeah, and that's like on uh, Adult Swim, man. I would watch it every time I was up and it was on, you know? I love the show. I All right, we're back. Hope that wasn't too long for everybody. <laughs> the uh, update on the drink here, the green apple Skittles flavored water. Yeah, Mr. Noodle, it's a, uh, I mean like flavor wise, it's okay, but it is way too sweet. <laughs> it tastes like candy. I was hoping for like, it would maybe be a little bit more sour or something like that. I'm a little worried about the other Skittle ones after tasting how sweet this one is. Like, it's sugar-free, but it tastes syrupy. Like, that's how sweet it is. I'm gonna finish it, don't get me wrong. But, yeah, it's a, it's a little much. Strawberry, orange, and grape are the other flavors. Yeah, that's a little worrisome. <laughs> I'm, uh... I'm partial to the tang and the lemonade. 
And I don't think that's going to change anytime soon. <laughs> I wonder, like, uh, maybe if we get more of the sub goals, maybe that's how you unlock more of the characters and stuff. Let's continue adventure. See what the next cutscene's like. Give us more on Miss Bookbottom here. <laughs> that was that was a cutscene. Get you some citric acid and put just a little bit in. Why just a little bit? We could just put like a couple Attention, teaspoons. Maybe a tablespoon in, you know? <laughs> that sounds like a good idea to me. You like the second personality? She's way more fun. <laughs> yeah, a little more likely to shoot you too, though, but you know. <laughs> Depends how you define fun. <laughs> what do you mean, no? I have a problem with sour things, anybody that doesn't know. I absolutely adore anything sour, basically. Uh, anything pickled in vinegar, except for like, I don't really like pickled meats, I guess. Like eggs, and I've never tried like uh, pickled pig's feet or whatever, but that, that doesn't look very good to me. I've broke my tongue multiple times, it's true. I have, from eating so many sour things that like, I just can't taste sour anymore. Or, or just lose part of my taste in general, but... <laughs> you don't like sour stuff? Aw, oh, man, you're missing out. I love sour stuff. <laughs> I love it. Like, uh, I'm so bad, I, I can just straight do shots of vinegar. I eat lemons. Like, just the fruit. I just cut them out. I'm, my mouth's watering now, just talking about it. <laughs> like, I love it. <laughs> sour gummy worms aren't even sour. That's basically just sugar. <laughs> like... What do you mean? <laughs> oh. No, I, I love sour stuff. I guess there's this, uh, this, like, sour plum or something. I forget what it's called. It's, it's from Asia, I believe. And it's, like, one of the most sour things in the world that's, like, safe for human consumption. I want to eat it so bad. Like, I, I just want to try it out. Because it sounds amazing to me. Are they actually hitting our fort from over there? They are. So I need to take down that tower, I think. That's what I do. I mean, I don't eat the skin because I don't like the, the lemon peels all that much. But yeah, no, I, I eat them like oranges with a little bit of salt. That's how I that's how I eat lemons. I freaking love them. Umaboshi, is that the name of the, the sour plum? I've seen people eat it before. Uh, the sour plum, umaboshi, whatever the hell it's called. But, uh... <laughs> Noodle lives with a monster. <laughs> it's so good. You, I usually cut them into slices, but recently I tried peeling it like a like a orange, and it it worked out pretty well. Like no complaints, man. It's pretty good. Just shake a little bit of salt on it, and then just go to town. It's so good. It's terrible for your teeth, but you know. <laughs> oh. But whenever, like, I have some indigestion problems, just uh, take a little shot glass, put some vinegar down in it. Well, I don't have any shot glasses lying around. Well, we might have one or two. But anyways, just take a little glass and pour pour a little bit of vinegar down into it and just down it. Ah, it's perfect. Helps with digestion, man. It's good for you. It's not very good for your throat. You should technically mix it with water if anybody wanted to try that sort of thing. But, nah. <laughs> not me. Not me, man. I just down it <laughs> i make my own homemade pickles and uh most people you know when they make pickles they take vinegar water it down a certain amount add like their their sugar and salt and all that not me all i do i just t i take the i take the cucumbers cut them up put them in straight vinegar with some seasonings and that's it that's all i do <laughs> and then let it sit for a little while it's so good it's better than any pickle I've ever bought. And I love pickles, so. <laughs> you hate pickles, except on some burgers. You hide, oh no. No, Rue, what's wrong with you, man? I can't, I hate sweet pickles. That's the one kind I can't eat. I can't eat sweet pickles. 
Oh no. <laughs> now you're the monster. Yeah. Mr. Noodle's not a fan of sweet pickles either. <laughs> sweet pickles are so gross, man. I hate them with a passion. Alright, I think we're not supposed to just be saving our fort. I think we're also supposed to be, like, destroying their bases here or something. I don't know exactly how we do that. But it seems like, uh... It seems like just running around in, in circles killing them isn't enough. So they have 14 whatever left. Machine guns? So let's let's try to destroy their <laughs> monster roo roar. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> oh yeah, if we look at the, the bottom left hand corner, we can see that they have like bases. Can we get like missiles somehow or something? Like there's gotta be some way to to kill these dudes, right? That's 12. Okay, so we don't need to destroy the actual base part. We just need to destroy the, the machine guns or whatever. Your dad and sister made pickles one time and he didn't tell me. They were sweet and told me to try one. You instantly gag. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what I would have done. I don't, I don't think I tried those, Mr. Noodle, did I? If I did, I'm sure I had basically the same reaction. Sweet gherkins for life? Nope. Mm-mm. -mm. Sweet gherkins are basically just, uh, I don't know, the devil. <laughs> like, they are actually one of the worst things ever, in my opinion. I, I can't stand them. Oh, shoot, okay, so we can destroy the houses. I'm assuming maybe if we destroy the houses, less of the uh, enemies spawn. Okay, we're going to try this again. I think I know what I'm doing now, so... It was a quick run into the house and he told you to try one. Get into the fridge and tried one. You should have said no. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can understand why you didn't say no. I probably wouldn't have either if somebody just told me like, hey, we got some pickles. But least favorite burger topping? <laughs> um, yeah, Mr. Noodle hates lettuce and tomatoes just in general. I... Oh, man. Honestly, that's a hard one for me, Rue. I like just about anything I've ever had on a burger. I guess the least favorite thing I've ever seen on a burger or had on a burger, I mean, I guess would be like pineapple. I've seen people put that on burger before and uh, I've never actually tried it to be honest, but I don't think I'd be a big fan of it. And then things I've actually had on burgers, uh, coleslaw. I'm not a big fan of coleslaw in general, so I guess that'd be it, coleslaw. I, I really like traditional burgers, you know, mayo, ketchup, mustard, pickle, lettuce, tomato, cheese. Like, I like all of it, but eggs, eggs are really good. Uh, I, I'm not a huge fan of barbecue sauce on, on burgers either, but I just, I, I don't really like coleslaw, so. You're no lettuce team? A lot of people hating on the lettuce, man. I like the crunch that it adds to the burger. And it's basically just water, so I mean. <laughs> but you're not alone on that. Mr. Noodle hates the lettuce too, and I, I know a lot of other people do, but I like it. It just has no real flavor. I know, but it's the crunch factor, man. That's what it's about. I like having that crunch. It stinks and tastes so bad. It hardly has a flavor, Mr. Noodle. You're being dramatic. <laughs> no, she, she's always hated lettuce. I, I like lettuce though, like uh, like salads and whatnot, I, I really enjoy, so like I'm not the right person to, uh, to ask for that. I mean, favorite topping on a burger? I, uh, hmm, I, I guess probably, like if we're, if we're excluding condiments, probably cheese. If we're not including cheese, then probably tomato. But if we're if we're not excluding condiments, then it's got to be some uh, ketchup, uh, mayo, and mustard like mixed together, because I I sometimes have problems swallowing stuff, especially if stuff's dry. So I need all of the extra moisture I can get on a burger. <laughs> so if I ha if I can only pick one kind of topping, then it's gonna be condiments, hands down. Like. This dude needs to die. 
Can we? Can we? Uh, I know my fort's in danger. How am I supposed to kill these dudes all over the place if I have to babysit this stupid fort? Your fort is damaged. Your fort is damaged. Hush. You love onions, Ruth? Same. I love onions, too. At least on, on burgers. It depends. Like, some onions are very, very strong. Like, Burger King, for instance. Their onions just leave uh, my stomach feeling sick from whatever they use on it. But I still get the onions on it because it's worth it. <laughs> like, a, a Whopper just isn't complete without onions on it. But it, it does upset my stomach for, like, a day afterwards. I'll just be burping up onions and crap. So, uh... Yeah. <laughs> it's a it's a double-edged sword, the onions. Oh, okay, we lost one live. One live, one life. But we took out another one of their forts. So worth it, question mark? And I think we have another heal coming through. Yeah, there's our, our, our officers of the law there, whatever the heck you want to call them. I feel like there's more bandits this time than there were last time. Even though I'm making a conscious effort to try to destroy their buildings and whatnot. Last time it was steak and now it's Whoppers. I'm just a hungry person. <laughs> like, even though my stomach's all upset today, I just... Man, I'm, I've been hungry. Like, I, I've been considering making food all day. Even though I know if I make anything, I'm probably just going to be in the bathroom. Although I did uh, give in and eat a couple slices of leftover pizza. I, I ended up regretting it a little bit, but like, oh well. I was hungry, man. Worth it. And then I made some, uh, I mean, I'll call it chicken noodle soup, but it, it, had, it was just broth and noodles with some seasoning in it. Because I, uh, I didn't have any chicken laying around to put in it. But destroy the Gatling gun. Destroy the Gatling gun. Thank you. All right, there's only two of what I presume are their spawners left. There's a big wave of dudes over here, though. I think we got it this time. We seem to be doing pretty decent. I think we're good. Where's that dude at? Over there trying to throw. Freaking TNT sticks and crap in my in my bases. So I wonder, like, every time we destroy a hut, I think one of the other ones kind of produces more dudes. Is what it's is what it's looking like to kind of make up for it, which I mean makes sense. That way it doesn't get too easy as time goes on. Your fort is now you really want a whopper? A whopper does sound amazing. Mr. Noodle and I... Oh, which reminds me, uh, for anybody watching that may have been planning on tuning in tomorrow, I am still going to do tomorrow's stream as long as I don't get significantly sicker than I am today. But uh, I have an appointment right before the stream is supposed to take place, so it's probably going to be an hour or two late, sadly. I'll still be streaming, and uh, I'm hoping to finish Lord of the Rings tomorrow, but... Um, but yeah, I, I, uh, it's going to be a little bit late. <laughs> I can't really do anything about it. I gotta, I gotta go to the appointment, so. Still want a snack wrap? Oh yeah, I completely forgot about your snack wraps. You're going to have to remind me like during the day <laughs> that you want a snack wrap one of these uh, times, Mr. Noodle. We'll definitely get you some. That's odd about BK's onion. You know at the local one, it's just regular old white onions. I know it is. Like, it, it just tastes like regular white onions, but they taste stronger than other places to me. And yeah, it's it, it. I always just get those sulfury burps every time I eat there. And I don't know, I don't know why. I honestly have no idea why, but it's every single time that I eat them. But, oh well. Is what it is. And like I said, I still get them because a Whopper's not complete without them. <laughs> If it's on your car, order it and wait outside so they don't knock on the door. <laughs> She'll never have to know. <laughs> oh. You wish that would work. The door's in the living room. She's always watching TV in there. That sucks. The onions are so strong. They, like, one ring stinks up a whole room. That's, yeah. Yeah, that's how I feel about it, too. Like, they, they taste like regular white onions, but they're just very, very strong white onions. 
Sheets is open 24 hours? I know they are, but like, I don't want to drive to Sheets at 1 o'clock in the morning. with overdue books. Is it laziness or desperate cry for help? Details inside. Also, an update on fly and librarian men at Bookbottom, who is about to begin the next leg of the Freaky Flyers race in Chicago. For more information about Chicago, see North American Reference, comma, Chicago in the card catalog. You can't drive there, I'm your driver. Well, I mean, if you're offering to, to pay for some sheets, I'll totally take you to, to sheets after the stream and we'll get some, some food from, <laughs> from sheets. I'll drive you for a burger or something. Like, that's no problem. It's probably because of how they're stored, honestly. You used to work at Burger King and you stored them in the freezer. I've never worked at Burger King. I know Nate actually worked at Burger King for a little while, too. But I've never worked at Burger King. I did uh, work at McDonald's for a little while. I don't remember what we did with our onions. However, be careful not to point this out. The last time I was in Chicago and insulted the police and fire department, my rental car was stolen and then lit on fire. <laughs> and I didn't take the extra coverage. <laughs> now, enough about me. Let's talk about you. You're not you don't get paid until Wednesday, Mr. Noodle? I'm sorry, love. Second place are better to qualify now. Oh, damn. Okay. You can stop and get them if we want. Yeah, heading back to town after this order. Uh, that's up to Mr. Noodle. <laughs> like I said, I'm broke, so I can't afford to buy any. And if she doesn't get paid till Wednesday, then we're probably too broke at the moment. Though I do appreciate that, Nate. You worked at McDonald's for two weeks and they didn't teach you how to use the juice machine until day five. <laughs> oh, that's right. We put them in liquid and rehydrated them. I remember. I remember. Thank you again, Nate. But yeah, no, we're, uh, we'll be okay. I mean, we have plenty of food at home, but... We're, uh, Mr. Noodle's just been craving that snack wrap, I think, ever since it came up that one day. <laughs> so it looks like one of the hidden objectives is probably going to be to destroy some garbage cans, because them garbage cans definitely had some, uh, some whatchamacallits on, some targets painted on it there. Holy crap, this is a, this is an active freaking town here, man. Oh, my lord. Ah, there's a building. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to crash into it. I just... How can you expect me to control this? Alright, I thought we picked up a power-up. Did we not? We must have missed it. I wish the hitboxes on the power-ups were a little bit larger. We'll leave some, uh... Some, some bladed things in the path. Hopefully that'll take out some people. I hope it's like Mario Kart where we're not really affected by... I don't know, I guess in Mario Kart you are affected by the own thing, your own things that you leave behind, aren't you? Well, I hope it's not like Mario Kart and we're not affected by our junk that we leave behind. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Um, well, well, okay. Uh, did we at least get the boost? I think we did. It took us all the way back to sixth place, though. Holy crap. This, this is not good, guys. I don't know if we're gonna get this. We've got a health pack. That doesn't really do a whole lot for us right now. I mean, we can fly above this. <laughs> like, there's that thing dividing us between the different lanes there, but we can just kind of walk above it, or walk above it. I didn't realize we were walking. I thought we were flying, but... <laughs> uh, cool, yeah, shield, whatever. Can we, can we shoot him down, please? Is that the, the magic carpet dude? I think that's the magic carpet dude. Boost! That boost did not last long enough. We're still in third place. We gotta get, we gotta get at least second in this one. Oh no, we got hit by a missile! We are screwed. We are screwed now after that. There's no way we're gonna catch back up in time. Oh, uh, yes, all the boosts, please. Shortcut, maybe. Oh, we're actually in second. Can we hold it, though? Not if we fly around like that. That's not doing us any favors. Oh, my God. We're all, all the way back and forth. We're so screwed. There's no way. I'm pretty sure the, the end is of the levels, like, right after this, isn't it? 
What do we got? Can the hit? I, I mean, that's not gonna help us. It's behind. We need we need things that can take down people in front of us. Yep. Nope. We're gonna try one more time. If we don't get it after one more try, we are going to uh, go ahead and switch to another character. I mean, we're gonna switch to another character either way because yeah, I want to see what the cutscenes are like for the other people too. You're gonna get yelled at, but you gotta get some snacks. <laughs> oh, Rue, I feel your pain, man. McDonald's doesn't have snack wraps anymore, so Sheets is the next best thing. I do really miss McDonald's, because I actually like McDonald's snack wraps better than I liked uh, Sheets' snack wraps, so. Uh, but, whatever. Didn't know that would happen. Walmart. Wait, what? <laughs> I think I missed something here. <laughs> There we go. Me, I'm gonna have to scroll up. If it was Wednesday, you would. I don't know what y'all do with the slivers, though. Always in a mood for a snack wrap. Oh, I'm gonna get y'all up. I gotta get some snacks to eat. Don's doesn't have snack wraps. Whoops, didn't know that. I'm missing something. <laughs> oh, you tried to link Walmart? Oh. Yeah. I, for some reason, I don't see that popping up. Oh, is that what you, you said after you're going to get yelled at, but got to get some snacks too? And then was the, the, the asterisk there? Is that where you said Walmart.com? Still mad that Taco Bell got rid of that Mexican pizza. I still need to try that thing that you mentioned from Taco Bell. The, or no, it wasn't from Taco Bell. It was just uh, something I need to make. Carne asada or whatever it's called. Snack wraps are coming back at McDonald's. That'd be amazing, Mr. Noodle, if that's true. Oh, yeah. I, I didn't realize you didn't have sheets out there, Rue. Um, yeah, it's it's a uh, gas station, but it's uh, a gas station where they also do food. Um, and it's kind of like a, a hangout spot. And they're open 24-7, all day, every day, never closed. So, but yeah, it's like a, a gas station mixed with a convenience store, mixed with a uh, made-to-order food thing, yeah. Carne asada fries, that's it. Yep. No, the Mexican pizza was supposed to come back. Made to order food. Oh, so it's kind of like loaf and jug. I mean, I've never once in my life heard of loaf and jug, but yeah, <laughs> probably. <laughs> if loaf and jug sells made to order food, gas, and alcohol, then yeah, basically the same thing. <laughs> WTF is a loaf and jug. <laughs> yeah, I actually, I, I thought... Um, <laughs> I thought Sheets was a, uh, a national thing, but yeah, I guess it is just more of an Eastern thing. Hmm. The more you know, you want a loaf and jack? <laughs> that, that sounds like something, uh, something we shouldn't be talking about on stream. <laughs> you want to, you want a loaf and jug later, Mr. Noodle? <laughs> they don't have made to order food, but they have hot dogs, pizza, and often have... See, that sounds more like our, uh, that sounds like more like a 7-Eleven almost. To me, Sheets has like they have some convenience foods, but it's mostly like uh, pre-made sandwiches and donuts and stuff like that. Everything else is made fresh whenever you order it. I use the term fresh loosely, though. Like, <laughs> it is an Eastern thing. A YouTuber that you watch, his girlfriend made her try it because she's from California. Oh, okay. It literally starts so people could get a loaf of bread and a jug of milk, hence the name. That, I mean, that makes perfect sense, yeah. So it's a, it's a corner store, basically. Which, I mean, yeah, kind of is what Sheets is. But they also sell gas. <laughs> it's basically just uh, 7-Eleven, which I know that is a national thing. I, I don't know how common they are across America, but I know it's a national thing. But Sheets is basically just 7-Eleven, but with made-to-order food. Is all it really is, and it's also a popular hangout spot for for teenagers and and late night worker, late night workers, and and stuff like that. It's like a Wawa or 7-Eleven. Yeah. I don't. I've heard of Wawa, but I actually don't really know what Wawa is either, to be honest with you. Mr. Noodle. I'm guessing it's a a, a Western version of Sheets. <laughs> And drunks from the bar, yeah, that's that's true too. That's true too. A lot of drunks like to hang out there. 
I mean, to be fair, in our area at least, there's only one 24-7 place to get food. So, like, I can't necessarily blame these people. Because if it, if it weren't for Sheets, like, they wouldn't have anywhere else to get food at night. Right? Like, there are just no other options. Now, I don't really understand why people feel the need to just kind of hang out there all day. But, I mean, whatever, I guess. More... Whatever, whatever uh, floats your fancy there. Yep, yeah, but in some locations they make it look like an actual barn. What? That sounds cool, actually. <laughs> that sounds cool. I like that. You don't have Wawa's unless that's a nickname from Walmart, but we do. No, it's not. <laughs> we call we call Walmart uh, either Walmart or Wally World. <laughs> is uh, is what it, what it is around here. <laughs> ah, what? We died again. Right at the. I think that's the same spot we died last time. Trash. I don't think we're going to win this race, guys. Oh, crap. Especially not if we keep hitting those freaking bladed floaty things. We're supposed to return whatever we're hauling around to the police chief, but I honestly don't know where. <laughs> the police chief is <laughs> I like the power up system like if you collect so many collectibles whatever the collectible is for that level you get like additional power up slots and stuff that's a neat way to like incentivize people to to actually collect things oh geez we got three this time I mean that's pretty cool but we still lost <laughs> we'll try we'll try one of the other characters We need a loaf and jug? <laughs> Mr. Noodle's excited for some loaf and jug now. The ones that are barns don't typically have gas, but you can drive through the barn and get stuff without leaving your car. Oh, okay, yeah. I mean, we have drive throughs but... Um, it's kind of weird that the same place does both, like drive throughs and uh, gas stations. Just gas station stuff instead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's... Uh, our area is... Uh, if it was known for, for anything, it would probably be... Um, like, in modern days, it used to be known for different stuff back in the day, but that would, uh, not gonna talk about that. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, it, it would be freaking bars and drive throughs and, uh, and, and churches. So that's, <laughs> that's what we got. We got a lot of bars, a lot of drive throughs and a lot of churches. <laughs> it's, it's a weird mix, but most of them are just for alcohol, cigarettes, and lottery tickets with some snacks. Yeah, that's true. Very true. You just grow up with it, really? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure, yeah. If we if we came to the West Coast, we would probably be amazed by a lot of things. And if you came to the East Coast, you would probably be amazed by a lot of things. But since, you know, that's, like you said, where we grew up, it just kind of is what it is. Adventure mode. 17 churches is the most you've counted in a single town. I've never taken the time to count any of the, like, how many churches we have in town. But I wouldn't be surprised if it's close <laughs> to that, to be honest. I know the town I grew up in is unincorporated. Like, it, it, all the businesses technically aren't even in that town, even though they definitely are. Um, there's no police force or anything like that. And there were at least, like, six churches in it. it it's a literal one-stoplight town. There's one stoplight in the entire town. No police station. It did have a small fire station. One gas station completely unincorporated had at least six churches in it it's insane like why <laughs> there's no reason for that that's too many way too many <laughs> there was a church building that was converted to a house that was more than that at one point that's insane way too many oh and they had special stop sign stoplight things for the fire department that sounds cool. Yeah, I'm surprised that the town I grew up in actually had a uh, fire department, to be honest with you, because, <laughs> like I said, it, it was, it's tiny. It's a tiny little place, but they did. We had a 7-Eleven, a, a convenience store that also did chicken sometimes, and uh, and a fire department. That's about it. <laughs> that's, that's all that town had, other than bars, of course, and... Uh, and uh freaking 
churches out the wazoo. We did have a diner for a little while that was open 24-7 in that town, which was nice. But uh, I don't think it's open anymore, so... So when I was a uh, teenager, I would go over there every once in a while in the middle of the night to get coffee or, or some food or whatever, because, yeah. So who do we want to try? We tried a Myrna Bookbottom. Let's try, uh, I don't know, Johnny Turbine looks terrible, so. <laughs> he just looks like somebody I would hate. <laughs> let's, uh, let's try him out. It looks like we're on the same courses. And how many are there if we count? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 different uh, options there. Rue, what did you say? Oh no. <laughs> I don't know what you said. Because it was a Streamlabs bot that, that, that got you there. <laughs> you didn't even say anything that bad? I mean, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, sadly, it, Twitch isn't the one that caught you. It was Streamlabs, so I can't even see what you, what you said there. If it's something that I need to, uh, enable, or or unblock, I guess. Holy crap! I'm looking at the time. It actually has been another half hour. So we're gonna transition over to the break screen here, and then uh. We'll come back with, uh, what, what was this guy? Johnny Torpedo or whatever the hell his name is? Around. And, uh... Of course, for those of you who are subscribed, you won't see the advertisement to get rid of those pesky sub, uh, I almost said them pesky subscribers. No, thank you to the subscribers. The pesky pre-roll ads. <laughs> so we're going to run that and just kind of chill and talk for a moment. Just said you grew up in Prison Valley. At least that's the short version of it. Very weird. I don't... I'm gonna see, I've never looked at Streamlabs to see if it'll tell me. I'm sure it probably does somewhere, but uh, like what gets caught and what doesn't. I'm not sure. I didn't even say anything that bad, at least. <laughs> Seems like everybody wants to fight Streamlabs, man. You're not the only one. Let's see, but... Word protection, preferences, blacklist. I ch I'm just using the uh, the default, so I don't know. Something in the default then one there must have got grabbed. Yeah, that's what I have it set to. It's just like a warning for people is what I have Streamlabs set to. Because like, I'm not trying to actually stop anybody from chatting. I just don't want the... Uh, the chat to be completely filled with with terrible language and whatnot. Obviously, I mean, I'm not... You think it was shite? Well, I'm not... I don't care about that one. That one's allowed in chat. Uh, let's see. But we got... Caps protections turned on, symbol protection, link protection. I mean, I probably could just turn off word protection on the the cloud bot because Twitch has built in stuff now. So I'm just going to turn it off on, on Streamlabs and we'll try it. We'll go from there. Because I should be able to add words and whatnot through uh, through Twitch. It seems like their their mod tools are a bit better than they were, in, were once upon a time. So hopefully that won't happen again for something that's not a big deal. I just try to keep it, like, not PG, but I, I like I said, I just don't want it to get completely filled with extremely foul language and whatnot. I have a, a terrible foul mouth when I'm not on stream, but I just try to keep it decent for the internet, because you just feel bad now because you're making extra... Oh, don't feel bad, Rue. It's no big deal for me. I, uh, I've had problems with the Streamlabs bot before, so I've considered turning it off. But I was always worried that it was just going to get too bad. But like I said, honestly, I think Twitch's tools at this point are good enough that that I can use just the built-in Twitch moderation tools for, for things like that. And uh, I can always go back in and turn it on if I end up being wrong. Like, it just it takes a couple clicks. I just wish the Streamlabs one would show me what is being blocked so that I, uh, so that I know if it's something that I need to fix or whatever.
Now you can't say I'm stinky. Oh, you got to shower him. <laughs> I'm guessing Mr. Noodle. <laughs> I was very confused. I was like, wait, she said she wasn't getting a bath. And that was definitely too short of a of a, a you being gone for a bath. Let's get back into the game, shall we? It's a uh, fly on Bigfoot Mountain with good old Johnny Torpedo or whatever the hell his name is. You did. You were cold. Why didn't you get a warm shower? <laughs> <laughs> Everything is still turned on how we like. So X is gone, triangle stun. See, I guess we could have just read right here, but... Oh, L2 turns off the reticule. I thought we lost the reticule at one point in time, and I guess uh, maybe we did. Maybe it was ass because I said I hated the sirens because it meant prisoner escape storm or high wind and you had to haul ass inside your house. I don't know. I, I have no idea. Like I said, it's turned off now, so no worries. I don't, as long as nobody is being extremely foul mouthed, I'm not worried about a, a cuss word here and there. And then just for, for, to appease the, the content platforms, I would not, I don't want like the, the F word being dropped constantly, but, uh. Like, I haven't, I don't have an issue with any of those things on a personal level, but I want my, my content to be, you know, enjoyable for everyone. Johnny's famous smack attack was perfected while herding cattle. Move it along now, Bessie. You're not moving. Talk about this with the therapist. Well, you leave me no choice. <laughs> Unfortunately, the cows learned to smack back. Johnny hopes to be a big Hollywood star. The biggest in the movies. Winning this race will get me a multi-million dollar contract. I doubt it. What did you say, mister? I said I don't doubt it. I just forgot to say the don't part. Good luck, Johnny Turbine. So he's an interesting character there. And I wasn't ignoring you, Mr. Noodle. I actually didn't see the, uh, the, you asking to use the kettle. You can, you can use the kettle. Just don't break it. <laughs> Fair to you, we can't all be Jacksepticeye guy who's immune to the algorithm against cussing. You know, that's one YouTuber slash streamer or whatever. I don't actually know. Does he stream these days? I, I don't really watch him. And, uh, I should. Because I'm sure I would love his content, but I've never really uh, given him a chance, to be completely honest with you. And that's all me. I showed it at some point. I know one of my friends really likes uh, Jacksepticeye and... Uh, uh, what's uh, Markiplier? Really into Markiplier as well, but both of them. I just never... I don't have anything against them. I just never really gave either one of them a chance, so... One of these days, I probably should. Oh, tea lattes sound pretty good. I love tea lattes. That's probably my favorite way to drink tea, to be honest with you. And yeah, not really, but he does have a Twitch. Honestly, you would recommend him for content. He's hilarious and kind. Yeah, I've never heard a bad thing about the guy. Just never gave him a chance. I totally should one of these days. Markiplier too. That's another one that I've heard so many good things about. Especially because, like I said, one of my friends is uh, the Dorseman. Um, the the co-host of Just One More Level pops in here every once in a while. He loves Markiplier and the, the Unis Honest thing that they did and whatnot. So, uh, but I've just, I've never gotten around to it. I don't have a good reason for it. I just didn't. Nate says both are great. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, everybody seems to really enjoy them, so. I should. Honestly, it's the haters that say bad stuff, but you have to ignore them because they're also the ones who made fun of Jack's dad's death. Holy crap, man. Like, <laughs> that's why. I don't, I've honestly never heard a bad thing about either one of them. Um, I'm sure things have been said, but yeah, I've never heard it. But like, that's just, why would you? I, I, I honestly, I just don't understand it. Like, how are you going to say bad things about somebody dying, you know? That's, it, 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 incredible to me like even people you don't like 
Like, wanting them to die is just a bit extreme, or, or making fun of them after they die or whatever, right? Like, that's just, that's a little bit much for my blood. I don't, I don't know. Oh, no, we're screwing up here. That's what we get for looking behind us. They made memes out of his death? Wow. And whole YouTube channels making fun of it? That's insane, man. Trolls just like to hurt people, that's their goal. I I know, but like I don't understand the what it does for you, you know? Like being a troll trying to hurt people. I, I, I just don't understand how that pleasures somebody, you know? I'm not I guess that's just not in my nature. Like Hey, we got an additional power-up slot, very cool. Let's see what we get. Is there a way to switch between power-ups? Oh no! Oh no! Don't hit select. Select respawns you. That sucks. <laughs> we were in first place for so long. We were doing so well. <laughs> ah, man. That's annoying as hell. I can't believe... I was like, oh, maybe there's a way we can switch between power-ups or something. I don't think select does anything, right? And nope. Select makes you re-freaking spawn. <laughs> Thankfully, we're back in first place. They definitely made the AI easier in this level, I feel like, than, they, than the, uh, the next couple of levels. It kind of sucks that it's just the same levels on repeat, but I, I guess that's what I expected to, though. There you go. Good old Johnny Turbine. He seems like an interesting character. Attention seekers, really? I, I don't know, man. It doesn't make any sense to me. Any of it. You recommend some Nautica playthrough, and you did not know about that. That's terrible. It's... I, uh, I want to play Subnautica one of these days. I've seen a little bit of a playthrough of it, probably just like a few hours of it, and it looks pretty good to me, to be honest, but I've never, uh, never tried it out. I think it was, uh, I, I watched Captain Sparkles play a tiny bit of it, and then I forget who the other person was. I don't, I don't remember, but I watched somebody else play, play it for a little bit, and, uh, yeah, good stuff. You have to recommend anything you recommend Mark's FNAF playlist. It's usually be warned and Jack's Undertale playthrough. Undertale, man, I want to play that game one of these days. I played probably like the first hour or two of it, and then uh, I just never got around to finishing it, but I do want to. It's on my list of things that I want to do. One of these days, I saw a website. Um, can't remember the name of it because memory's terrible. It's, it's something like backlogged or, or something like that. But it just helps you keep track of all the games that you're trying to complete. <laughs> I, I, one of these days, I want to make an account on there or something and uh, just keep track of all these games like Undertale that I completely forgot about until you brought it up. And uh, But I, I know it's one that I want to beat at some point. It's one of the things that I'm tracking for all these PS2 games that I'm playing on my playlist, but... Uh, but for all my PC stuff and whatnot, it's a little bit harder. I do have, like, lists on Steam. I have, like, games in my backlog that I know I want to complete and the stuff I'm currently playing and whatnot. But, I mean, I not all my games are on Steam, you know? You love Undertale? Got the special Switch edition that came with a locket? What? That's awesome. I didn't even know they had that. That's awesome, man. I've heard so many good things about Undertale. And then, what was his other game? He made, uh... Oh, what was the name of it? Oh, I can't remember, but he, he's he's making another game, or uh, it's like coming out in parts or something, if I remember correctly. I could be misremembering, though, because, like I've Adventure said before, mode. memory, not good. Uh, I'm going to go back to Myrna Bookbottom, because I want to try some of the... try to get through a couple more levels if we can. My stomach's starting to get a little bit of a rumble to it, though, so we probably won't last too much longer. And try to get at least one or two more races in. Can you describe the game? It looks like uh, Undertale aesthetically, but he's made it very clear that it's not Undertale. <laughs> and it's made by the same guy. So if you... I can't remember what name he goes under when he makes games, but if you look that up, you should be able to find it easily enough. Deltarune. Yep, that's it. You got it. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I couldn't remember the name of it to save my life, but... Yep, yep, I've seen a couple videos on it. I've never played that one. I think, I think honestly, the videos that I was watching on it were... Maybe MatPats made a video on it at some point? I can't remember too well, but uh, somebody was talking about lore, at least. 
And anytime it's somebody talking about lore, I pretty much assume that it's Matt Pat. Because, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's the, the number one lore creator or lore uh, explainer that I watch, at least. <laughs> But yeah, no, I, uh, that one looks good to me, too, but I, I don't actually know people's feelings on it. If people tend to agree that it's good, or if uh, it doesn't live up to the to the shoes of uh, Undertale there, the hype that Undertale had around it. What's your favorite way to play? Like, if I were to play through Undertale, I... Uh, do you, in your in your opinion, should I play like pacifist or kill everything or just kind of play a mix, you know, whatever feels right at the time? I'm just curious your perspective of it, you know? Pacifist is the best way? I can't remember. I think that's the playthrough that I started. I think that's what I was doing was pacifist. But that was probably a couple years ago. That dude dropped that right in front of me. Ah, oh, the worst. Took us all the way back to 6th place, too. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Sans will end you if you play Genocide. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, man. So, Pacifist is the way to go, huh? Like I said, yeah, I think that's what I was doing. Whenever I return to it, I'll, uh, that's probably what I'll end up doing. Honestly. Because that's one of the really cool things about Undertale, right? Is that you're not forced to kill everything if you don't want to. You can play it how you want. You can let things live, which is awesome. And a uh, mechanic that I'd love to see in more games. Speaking of game mechanics that I'd love to see in more games, though, I just, I always bring this one up because I think it's amazing. What they did with the Lord of the Rings uh, Shadow of Mordor and Shadow of War game. The if For anybody who doesn't know, if they haven't played it, the enemies in that game get more powerful every time they beat you in combat. And they'll actually, like, taunt you about the fact that they've beaten you in combat and stuff like that. It's a really cool system, and it's one that I really do wish they would uh, include in more games. Did we get second? We actually did. Taking them out at the end there was perfect. Perfect timing. Just barely got that. Besides, why would you want to kill all those precious characters? <laughs> Aww. <laughs> I mean, some of them look pretty spooky, you know? Some of them are a little creepy, but... Yeah, I, I can see what you mean for a lot of them. <laughs> also, speaking of spooky and creepy, I was watching Matt Pat again. One of my favorite YouTubers, man. He's amazing. But anyways, I was watching him, and he was talking about Crypt TV and how they have a show coming out on Peacock. This was an older video, so the show may already be out on Peacock. But, uh... Anyways, I, I've never actually watched any of Crypt TV, but I want to so bad. They're... They're monster shows just look amazing and the fact that it's all practical effects i know the dorseman would have like a uh uh i can't think of the right word but he would love it because he is a huge fan of practical effects over cg and whatnot so if me and dorseman ever do our tv movie podcast like we've talked about maybe uh maybe we'll talk about crypt tv stuff I quite fancy the little chubby one. <laughs> what the heck? And this mime's got a dude growing out of his back, and for some reason, that's what a bookworm is into, apparently. Or book bottom. A field day? Yeah, I, I don't think that's the term I was looking for, but yes, he would have a field day with it. <laughs> the cave of blunders, huh? Attention, Mimes, they go for the mimes. <laughs> this ancient civilization is the backdrop as you attempt to defeat a genie, gladiators, and a room full of booby traps where a princess is being kept against her will. Although those things sound unpleasant, please don't judge the whole area by the actions of a few. Arabia is really a wonderful land full of interesting artifacts and business opportunities. For example, next year they're hoping to get a professional football franchise. Oh, of course that's they cool. Won't, but you have to admire that childlike innocence. <laughs> Arabia, where everything's possible but very little really is. 
So, I mean, it looks like they're just ripping off Aladdin here. With the, the genie, the underground section, all that stuff, Three, like... Two, one, go. What's with all of the damsel in distress situations in this game? Yeah, I mean, I don't think they, uh... They wear their chauvinism on their sleeve a little bit, I feel like. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. I mean, they with the way the, some of the female characters are designed, too, I, I think it's, uh, they were definitely going for, for a bit of chauvinism here. They, they were, they were going for that, that male audience for sure. Like, <laughs> I do like the variety in the levels, though. I appreciate that. Like, every level so far has been incredibly different from the rest. And uh, I don't think we're going to beat this level. <laughs> we are in 8th place by a fair bit. And we've died twice already. And I don't know what happened, but we are already almost dead again. <laughs> like... <laughs> Things are not going well, it's safe to say. <laughs> oh no. That's a tight squeeze. Okay, we got it. Can we can we Oh, I guess eighth wasn't last place. <laughs> uh bad genie. Uh that's just out of the way now. We're just gonna go directly for the exit. Is this a... I feel like there's probably shortcuts galore and whatnot with how open and wide these levels are. But I have no idea where to go. That is one nice thing about Mario Kart with its kart-like levels, you know? Karting levels. Is, uh... While it can't have quite the same variety, it is a little bit easier to... To... To understand a part process while you're going around, you know? I'll give them that. And uh, I've also been a proponent in recent years of non-open world games. Don't get me wrong, I still enjoy a lot of open world games. I mean, Skyrim is and probably always will be one of my favorite games. Uh, the Fallout series, I'm a huge fan of. Breath of the Wild, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, amazing. But what made me realize that I kind of prefer games with segmented levels was playing Kingdom Hearts 3, honestly. The, their, while it's not open world, their, their larger levels didn't offer the same level of attention oh, to detail with like secrets and, and, and whatnot. Um, it made it harder to kind of explore thoroughly and, uh, and to like find everything and I don't know. I'm bad at explaining it, but <laughs> I just, I definitely did prefer the more traditional level based game design of Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. And I, I feel like other games probably would have benefited from the same sort of thing. Instead of trying to be the biggest open world they could be, focusing more on making interesting individual levels. Um. And I feel like that's kind of a similar situation here, right? There's a lot of cool things that they're able to do because of how large these levels are. But at the same time, if they were smaller, more focused levels, I think it could have made a little bit more... Uh, everything could be a little bit more... Focused. <laughs> focused isn't really the right word, I don't think, but... Yeah. Ah, oh, crap. We hit the thing. Hey, Mr. Noodle with the five bit cheer again. Thank you, love. Appreciate you as always. There's no way we're getting first or second place here. I feel like when we went through this thing here, are we teleporting? Right, because we're, we're just going through it. And then, yeah, I feel like we teleport through there. I think they're, they're pulling off a little trickery there with that one. I don't think it's an actual... Like, just going through a sandstorm. Still gonna be here, but you're finishing a video that you started earlier? Oh, that's fine, Mr. Noodle. Enjoy your video. I'm probably not gonna be streaming a whole lot longer anyways, because my stomach is starting to hurt pretty bad at this point. 
I think we're gonna finish up this race and then sign off anyways, to be honest with you. I just appreciate you being here, love, and the bits, of course. But yeah, Freaky Flyers. It's another one that I ended up having more fun with than I expected, to be honest. I mean, looking at the case, I didn't think it was going to be a bad game, but it ended up being an actual pretty fun game. A little more challenging than I expected, I'll say that much. Um, I thought I was going to have a pretty easy time with a lot of these levels, but... And the first couple levels kind of uh, led me to, to believe that maybe even more strongly, but... By the time we get to, like, the... What is this? The fourth level? Fifth level, I guess, huh? Because we had that fort section. It really gets a fair bit harder, doesn't it? You, do know how to hold the you didn't want to be told you were being unsupportive? <laughs> Mr. Noodle, you've been supportive. You're very supportive, love. Thank you. Honestly, this game is pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, I... Let me see if I... No, it doesn't have the sticker on it saying how much I paid for it. But, uh... I feel like I probably got it pretty cheap. I'm gonna look up the... Kind of the normal price for it here. It is... Freaky Flyers. PlayStation 2. There's also a GameCube and Xbox version, apparently. Yeah, so for just the disc, it's like $5.20, but if you want the complete set, it's only 12 bucks is its normal price. So not an expensive game by any means, and yeah, well worth it, in my opinion. Pretty fun game, especially for... Um, I think I got it cheaper than that. I got it for... I keep track of this stuff. So it's in my collection... If I go here and then filter by console, PlayStation 2. I mean, that kind of helps, but I have so many games on this list. Freaky Flyers. Yeah, I only paid five bucks for it. So if you can find a decent deal on it like that, then definitely I suggest picking it up. Even for $12 or whatever, it's not bad at all, man. It's pretty good. On your way to town now. Congrats, Nate. Did you have a pretty decent day door dashing? Get a few orders in. But yeah. Like I was saying, guys, I think we are going to go ahead and sign it off here. I would love to go for another half hour, but uh, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to. <laughs> Sadly. <clears throat> Tomorrow we'll be back. We're going to be playing some Lord of the Rings, The Third Age. Hopefully finishing it, but... Uh, with me having to start a little bit late, I don't know if that's going to happen. I'm aiming for 6 to 6.30 as the starting time instead of 5, 5.30 like I normally do. But uh, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Hey man, don't push yourself. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Yeah, you too, Rue. Thank you. And uh, yeah, no worries. I'm not going to go insane with it. <laughs> Have a good night, Rue. Thank you for being here, man. I appreciate you. 130 bucks didn't start till 4.30. Very nice, Nate. Not bad at all, man. Not bad at all. Oh, Mr. Noodle with another... Oh, 10 bit cheer this time. Thank you, love. I appreciate that. Also, I just realized we have uh, <laughs> two different things of text over top of each other there. That's not too, uh, too easy to see. <laughs> yeah, good night, everybody. Thank you for joining. Thank you for being here. Mr. Noodle, thank you for the bits again. And everybody else, just thank you for being here and hanging out with me. I appreciate it all. Bye-bye, and I hope I see you tomorrow. Uh, chicken Alfredo, just, mm, it hit the spot. I just finished it up today. That move came from his subconscious. He was so afraid to die. And then I, uh, tonight, we do pizza almost every Friday, so tonight I had pizza, and, ah, uh, delicious, man. We used the leftover Alfredo sauce because we didn't end up using it all for the pound of pasta that we cook. End up using the leftovers to dip the crust in. Yes, I am in Excellent dipping sauce. <laughs> my name is Mayoga. If you've never you tried it before, next time you make a chicken alfredo or have some chicken alfredo, highly suggest just a little bit of low sodium soy sauce, 
I prefer the low sodium in it at least because I feel like soy or uh, chicken alfredo is usually already a 